your Android device. So first, today we're going to be looking at one particular product, and this is known as the Android Data Recovery Tool. It's the world's number one Android smartphone and tablet recovery software. They have the highest rating when it comes to recovering data. You can recover photos, videos, contacts, messages, call logs, and much, much more. And it's compatible with 6,000 plus Android devices. So what type of data are we talking about? Well, you know, things can happen. You might forget your password. The system might crash. SD card issues. I've dealt with this so many times in the past. I'm sure you guys have as well. Um, rooting errors. Oh, yep. ROM flashing. Yep, that can cause a bajillion issues. And finally, just accidentally deleting something that's really precious and you just need back. So of course, what are some supported devices? Well, everything from Samsung to Samsung. LG, Motorola, HTC, so on and so forth. What can you bring back? Contacts, audio, messages, WhatsApp data, that's pretty awesome. Photos, documents, video, call history, and I'm sure there's a few other things as well. System requirements, of course, and as you guys can see, you can recover things from not only your internal memory, but also your SD card. This also has, uh, so the thing that they guarantee is that you'll be able to have a preview available, verify data in detail before you actually go and recover anything. Flexible recovery for any selected files. It's safe. You got 100% security. It's pretty easy to use, but we'll decide that while we use it. And finally, you get a 30-day free trial. Here's some reviews. I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys the software, so let's go ahead and try it for free. Alright, so taking a look at the installation, I'm actually going to go and choose Customize Install. This seems good. I'm not going to agree to this particular little thing, and then we're going to hit Install. So everything should be pretty fast. 48%, 67%. We are all set. I'm going to choose start now. It's going to say congratulations, awesome, and it's going to give you some of the offers that they have here. So they have a few other services, pretty cool. Now we're going to jump into here. Your copy of the software is not yet registered. Dr. Pro and Android 2. I'm actually going to not register just yet. Okay, so we're going to connect our Android device to the computer and see if it recognizes it. Alright, so it detected my Android device and now it's giving me instructions on how exactly I should go about turning on certain options. This will allow the software to go and access the root systems. So jump into your developer settings, then of course choose USB debugging. Alright, it should say connected. So now I can go ahead and attempt to see what I have on the HTC One M8, which is the phone we are currently using. Contacts, messaging, call history. We're not going to jump into those right now. What's up? We don't need to jump into uh, videos. Let's let's think about music. All right, let's click on music, and it's going to attempt to get your devices. In. Next off, it's going to start analyzing the device. Finally, it's going to start scanning the device, and we'll take a look at how long this takes. It also gives you a little bit of information about your device. Please do not disconnect your device during the operations. Select the directory on the left to preview the data that has been scanned. Recovery is successful depending on how, how much data was lost. The device's condition, unscanned files may have been overwritten by the new data created on the device after the initial loss. So right now we have 93 audio files that have been deleted. Now these are actually interesting. This is really, really interesting as a matter of fact. These are all the already audio voiceovers that I recorded and these actually did get uh, deleted accidentally because the screen recorder, uh, the application itself, I deleted without realizing that it would take away all my voiceovers as well. This actually happened a long while back, maybe a month or two ago, and I was pretty bummed about all the voiceovers being lost. Unfortunately, I didn't have this back then, and nor did I have the time to go and actually attempt to get all these voiceovers back. But as you guys can see, it seems to have gotten, well, it seems to have found everything. I have no idea how. We have 280 different files over here, so that is pretty awesome. Now I assume a bunch of these are also voiceovers that I recorded at one point that I deleted out purposefully as well because as you guys can see there's 312 so far and this will take about 12 minutes. It's doing it pretty quickly and this is pretty awesome. In fact it's found about 1.35 gigabytes worth of files and about 300, probably around 5 or 600 different files. Now right now I actually do not need to recover all these voiceovers but as you guys can see in terms of audio it seems to work really well and as you guys can see if these were images it would do the same exact things. Videos it would do the same thing. Now, the one thing I don't know about is if your files were corrupted and then deleted, would you be able to get them back? That seems to be an issue, and I'm pretty sure if your files were corrupted somehow, maybe you bought a fake SD card or something along those lines, those files may be gone for good. But aside from that, if you accidentally deleted something, if your phone went haywire, or if you attempted to flash a ROM and everything for some reason just disappeared, or even a simple 
software update from Android, which happens, and it just happened that Google didn't want to recover all your contacts and things, and you need them back, well here you go guys, it's a pretty awesome piece of software, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if so leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe, go ahead and try it out, it's a free trial for up to 30 days, which is pretty awesome, and then of course you can go ahead and purchase it at the link right here. Thank you guys for watching, this is going to be me, logging off.